So far in Fifth Gear's thought-provoking catalogue of crash tests, we've proved new cars are much tougher than old ones. We've seen what happens when you get caught up in a left-hand drive truck's blind spot. And while most crash tests are at 30 or 40 miles an hour, we've shown what happens at 60. And this time we're looking at the safety of lampposts. Lampposts, you're thinking? Have we gone mad? No, because lampposts are actually much more of a threat to your well-being than you might think. There are about 500 deaths a year in Britain when cars slide off the road and hit stuff at the side of it. Things like trees, road signs, traffic lights and high up on the list of potential killers, lampposts. Lampposts are everywhere, over six million of the things on British roads, just a foot or two from the tarmac. Some are protected by crash barriers, but most aren't. And if you hit them, it can be very nasty indeed. So what damage can they cause? Well, allow me to demonstrate. We've put up this typical British lamppost. It's 12 metres high, it's made out of very solid galvanised steel tube and it would cost you about £750, including installation and bulb. We're going to hit it at 45 miles an hour using this well-preserved Rover 820 Si. Now, this would be far too dangerous a test even for a stunt driver to perform, so we fitted the car with remote control. And it'll actually be driven from a chase car following behind at a safe distance. That is, after I've got out, obviously. Right, let's go. Lamppost stopped the car from a speed of 45 miles an hour in less than a metre. People inside would suffer massive deceleration forces, compounded as the car is forced up and thrown violently round to the right. Rooted in concrete, the lamppost hardly absorbs any energy from the crash, only bending a few inches through the soil. The driver and any passengers would probably have suffered serious neck, back and chest injuries, or much worse. The human body can't cope with being thrown around so aggressively. But it needn't be like this in Finland, Norway, Sweden, the Netherlands and parts of the United States. They've been using safer lampposts for years. They come in various types. This one's made out of light stainless steel, but they're all designed to do the same thing. Slow you down more gently so the damage to the car is less, but more importantly, the people inside the car are safer. This one's called the Larson Safety Post, and this is the man who sells it in the UK, Guy Wadsworth. He's prepared to put his life on the line to show us how safe it is. He's going to drive straight into his lamppost at 45 miles an hour in another Rover 800. So, Guy, 45 miles an hour into a lamppost, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I don't see why not. It's one of those Victor Kayan moments. You know, I believe in the product. I know what's going to happen. I'm quite confident. What is going to happen? Uh, when I hit it, it's going to go very noisy, and then the car will effectively run the lamppost over, having bent it in half, so it'll use the whole length of the pole to slow the car down. Are you taking any extra safety precautions at all? Um, no, I'm replicating what's going to happen to the public. You know, I'm wearing my tweed, and you know, as you would if you were driving along normally. The only difference is I'm going to wear a crash helmet, because I know I'm going to have an accident, unlike most people. Uh, and that's really just in case the glass gets broken somewhere, but, you know, it's, it's eminently safe. OK, we'll uh, leave you to it. Right. Best of luck. Jolly good. Guy may appear confident, but this test has never been attempted before using a real driver. In fact, the test's so extraordinary that a delegation of top road safety experts has flown over from Sweden to observe it. 
guy really is putting his life on the line. Okay, keep still, keep still, keep still, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Do you have any neck in your, hanging your neck? Absolutely not. Anything in your back? Absolutely not. Do you your fingers? Yeah. Okay, can you take your helmet off yourself? Okay, you okay? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, fine. The glass game is a bit of a shock, but uh, yeah. I was going rather faster than I thought I was. In fact, with the adrenaline flowing, Guy actually hit the lamppost at 50 miles an hour, but he still walked away completely uninjured. On impact, the post collapses in a controlled way, running under the car, helping to bring it to a survivable stop. The top of the lamppost coils round, dissipating vital energy. It slams into the roof, but it's light enough not to cause severe damage. The deceleration forces involved are a tiny fraction of those in the previous crash. And the car, though heavily battle-scarred, was still drivable. Various types of safer lampposts are now starting to make an appearance in Britain. But as they're more expensive than ordinary posts, they'll be used mainly on major roads and at accident black spots. Similar technology is also improving the safety of road signs and traffic lights. It'll be a long time before we catch up with countries like Sweden and Norway, but I hope we do. I'd much prefer to hit this than this. <laughs>